everyone. Thank you for watching Logayatra. You can post your chemistry related questions in the comment section and I'll make a video solution for that. Now, in this video, we'll be seeing that how can we predict the cathode or anode from the reduction potentials. And in the exams, normally the reduction potentials are, are given and you need to find the standard cell potential. So let's see how can we do that. So in the question, if you are given the reduction potential of reduction potential of CR3 positive with CR as minus 0.74 volts and another reduction potential which is given is for cadmium CD2 positive with CD as minus 0.40 volts. Now, how can you predict that which one is cathode or which one is anode? First, you need to compare the both the values. In these both values, you can see that the, for the cadmium, it is more and for chromium, it is less. Now, you need to understand that if the reduction potential is more, then it means that it can be easily reduced, easily reduced. As the reduction potential is more, it means that it can be easily reduced. Now, if it can be easily reduced, then it means that it is a cathode because on cathode, the reduction occurs. So if it has more reduction potential, then it means it's a cathode. And if it has less reduction potential, then it means it is an N node, right? Now, to find the E naught of the cell, or you can say the standard cell potential for that you the formula is E naught of cathode minus E naught of anode E naught of anode right now you can put the values here directly and you can find it because cathode is cadmium so we will put Z minus 0 0.40 volts right minus E naught of anode is minus 0 0.74 so we will write it like this and from here, the answer we'll get is plus 0.34 volts, right? So this is very easy, more the reduction potential, more easily it gets reduced and it means that it is a cathode. Now let's see another example. Here, the reduction potential of zinc is given, zinc 2 positive to zinc x minus 0 0.76 volts and another reduction potential which is given is for copper which is 0 0.34 now can you tell me which one is cathode and which one is anode first compare the values right so we can see that this is more so it means that it is a cathode right and the another one is anode and here also we can easily find the E naught of cell. So E naught of cell will be equal to cathode minus anode. So it will be 0 0.34 minus minus 0 0.76. So on solving this, we get the answer as 1.10 volts. So this is very easy. You can easily predict which one is cathode and which one is anode by just seeing the reduction potentials of the electrodes.